Hey guys, Vinx are back with more Persona 4 Golden. Last time, it was New Year's. We hung out, we talked, we talked, and we hung out. We also found out that Marie went missing. Where'd she go? We'll find out. But for now, we should go back to our room and rest because maybe we caught a cold. It seems someone's at the door. What the fuck you want, Yosuke? Happy New Year! Oh wait, I already said that. Yeah, it's like the third time. I hope we get along this year too. Sure thing, Teddy. Anything for but you. I already said that. Sorry to drop by unannounced. I thought about calling you, but we were already in the area. Just fucking call me, dude. I could have been jacking it. Thank you for inviting me in. You've got to wait for him to actually invite you in first. Sheesh. Do you have any plans during the break? If you don't have anything lined up, why don't we go skiing? That seems reasonable. There are a lot of mountains in the area, and it seems that there are a lot of little ski resorts around here. It'll be a cheap trip because it's local, and the snow quality is supposed to be pretty good, too. Uh, okay. What do you think? Let's invite everyone. Actually, I've already asked Chie and Yukiko about their schedules. Awesome. They both said that they're free too, so I'm going to start making serious plans for this. Yukiko is usually busy during this season too. If she's free, I'm pretty sure everyone else should be able to come. Ooh, another overnight event. What could go wrong? I'll leave ski tracks of love under the frigid sky. No. Hey, Yosuke, do we have a plan for our second chance at a surprise sneak-in? Stop. Why are you assuming that we're going to try that again? What happened last time was bad enough. It traumatized Kanji for life. It ain't over till it's over. That doesn't make much sense. I mean, stop bringing that up. We're talking about skiing here. Skiing? Ah, you guys are here. Yeah, did you not hear them ring the doorbell, Dojima? Hello. Sorry for barging in. Oh, and Happy New Year. Oh yeah, same to you. Well, we're gonna go now. Sorry, but I'm leaving you to fend for yourself for a while. Okay, where are you going? We should be back by the middle of the month. Where are you going? Are you going on a trip? Nah, we're headed to the hospital. Okay. Nanako was only allowed to leave the hospital for New Year's. I need to take her back. Like, that doesn't make sense, but okay. Seriously? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned stuff like skiing at a time like this. No, that's, that's okay. Nanako's getting better, but the doctor wants to be sure, just in case. So, what? What hospital sends you home for two weeks and then says, oh yeah. Come back and stay in the hospital for two weeks after you stay at home for two- No! What? I'll be going along for physical therapy and to keep her company. But I'm all better! What? I don't want there to be any germs hiding away inside you, do you? Don't worry. I'll be with you. It won't be for much longer, okay? Okay. Well then. Sorry, but I'll have to count on you to look after the house. <laughs> well, I plan on leaving, so fuck you. See you, big bro! Bye, Nanako! Make sure- you should probably put on actual pants, though, because it's cold outside. Okay, never mind. Poor Sensei. Are you all alone at home again? Don't worry, I'll invite Nanako over. Naoto over. Naoto. That's the one. I know! I'll stay here with you until Nana-chan and Pops come back! Stay? Wait, do you plan on moving in? Don't be stupid. He already has to do all the housework. I can't saddle him with some burden like you. Sensei, your life with me will be priceless. Go home. If you're worried about <laughs> Yosuke being home alone, don't. He'll survive just fine without me there to take care of him. Trust me, Yosuke is not the one I'm worried about. I want to smack you so hard right now. Like, I'm literally already texting Naoto saying, 
Hey, Gojima's not going to be home for two weeks. You got any plans? Man, I'm glad that I could help you out, Sensei. Please don't. It seems that Teddy will be staying with you no matter what you say. Now that that's decided, I'm gonna go get my bare longings and some snacks. Man, he's out of our control. I blame you. Look, You're his keeper. Let him spend one day here at least. If he bugs the hell out of you, you can send him back to me whenever you want. I will immediately. And think about that ski trip. I'll send you an email once I've got all the details worked out. Yosuke, I will send Teddy back to you right now because I'd rather Naoto hang out with me. There's no way I'm inviting Naoto over here when Teddy's here. Uh, Teddy will live with you. Ugh. When Teddy returns to this belongs, you spend time helping him unpack. Why does he have so many bear costumes? It makes no sense. Thanks for helping me unpack. You and me sleep on the same roof from now on. Ugh. Great. Don't try anything funny. Oh, do you mean my morning Teddy aerobics? Okay. I'm, apparently I'm still sick. You feel dizzy. What's going on? Your vision begins to waver. Huh? S -s Sensei? You can hear Teddy's voice from far away. This is... Oh. Um, uh, I tucked him in, took his temperature, next comes... um. Ah! This calls for cold pillow! Hang in there, Sensei! Uh, okay. You really shouldn't sleep under the Kotatsu. It's very... It's actually not healthy to do that. Re. This is... Looks like you're having another dream. Well... I came... To say goodbye. No! It's been fun. Where are you going? You try to speak, but for some reason you are unable to. I'm sorry. Don't worry. The fog in your world is gone. I'm sure you will have a peaceful future. No. It's a shame I won't be there to see it. No, you have more poems for me to read. <sighs> Thank you. I'm so glad to have met you. Aww. So, let me end this while I'm still happy. Goodbye. <sighs> Don't make that face. This is all for the best. No. Goodbye. No, don't. Marie, oh, you're so cute. If I didn't love Naoto so much, I would have gone out with you. You feel lightheaded. It's like everything is being shrouded in darkness. Hmm. He looks like he's in pain. Yeah. I think it's a cold. Winter around here can be pretty unforgiving. Hmm. Looks like the ski trip will have to be pushed back. There's no point going without him, after all. So, why do you put him under a kotatsu? Isn't that supposed to be bad for you? Huh? Why not? A kotatsu's great when you're shivering from the cold. Uh, uh-huh. That's the cold, not a cold. Okay. At least he didn't try to shove a, she a leak up my ass. Skip two days. Cool. Hmm. Dude, if I've been unconscious for two days now, I should go to the hospital. Like, if you have a fever for this long, you should be in the hospital. Damn it, it's pissed me off that I can't do anything about this. <sighs> he should be okay. The medicine I picked up from the hospital appears to be working. It will still take a few more days, but Teddy is here to watch over him, so that actually makes me more worried now that I said that out loud. Teddy, take care of Senpai for me. Of course. Leave it to Teddy. I've been sleeping with him every night. <sighs> that lot of help that is. 
And meanwhile, now it's like, that's my job, bitch. Dude, seriously, if you have a fever for five days, you should go to the hospital. God damn, dude. You've been bedridden for a while, but it seems you finally recovered. Start. Sassy, don't worry, you have me. It would seem that Teddy has been taking care of you. Ring, 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 banana phone. Good evening. I apologize for disturbing your night. There is something I must inform you about Marie, so I decided to contact you directly. Don't ask how I get cell service here in the Velvet Room. That will be a, uh, you know, that's a plot problem. Don't worry about it. I had a dream about her. A dream. Hmm, I see. Perhaps that has something to do with Marie's departure. Unfortunately, I have yet to pinpoint her location. However, there is something I have discovered. Do you remember what I said before? I told you that if I led you to Marie, it may lead to danger. I am concerned that this may turn out to be true. It is most likely that her destination is not found in the realm of man. I believe it will be a true test of your persona powers. So, until I come for you, I would suggest that you work to further your bonds with others. Gather your personas in the time you have, so that you can be ready when the time comes. Now, if you would excuse me. It seems Marie's in a very dangerous place. You should work to strengthen your bonds with your friends until Margaret comes for you. You carry Teddy to bed and decide to rest for the day. The third school term begins today. It seems that you've fully recovered. Sensei, I think you're okay now. Take care. Oh, right, because he doesn't go to school. You pull your winter clothes out of your dresser and leave for school. It's obtain midwinter yasso. Yo! Sup, Phoenix? Feeling better? I freaked out when Teddy told me how bad it was. You were kind of groaning that day when I went to see you, too. Well, even if we didn't plan, I'm glad Teddy was there with you. He put everything he had in taking care of you. Did the ski trip get postponed? Huh? You heard about that already? Yeah, we're going to hold all of that until another holiday. I'll get some of my New Year's money aside, so let's make our plans then. There is that block of holidays in February. I think that might be the time to do it. Sure. I guess. What block of holidays is that? I don't... Whatever. Japan has weird holidays. Happy New Year, everyone! I sure hope that this year will be just great as last year. Did you all can celebrate New Year in the proper way? By that, I mean, did you get to eat all the right foods? Ha! <laughs> I had Zoni, Oroshi, and of course, the Toshikoshi noodles! You've got to have Toshikoshi while on the count is challenging. But I completely forgot to get the Kamigami mochi. Even if you don't eat it, that's the important too, Barry. I was in a rush, okay, but I figured that I can't be the only one who didn't ring a New Year right. So, oh my, no way, you look like you know. Venus! Pick up a person who doesn't look like you know. Ha ha ha! Fuck you! Tell me what you're supposed to put on top of Kamigami mochi. I don't fucking know! A coin. Nope, that's not it. It's an orange. Why would you put a coin on food? It is. Okay, clearly it's a food choice. Not just any orange, though. It's got to be a bitter orange called a Dai Dai. That means several generations. Of course, it does taste very good, but the symbolism and thing matters. Well, here you know. Did you all get this? Don't make the same mistake I did when next year comes around. Hey, I learned something. The new term has begun. It's been a while since you met everyone at school. What will you do today? Um, I guess I'm in the state of social links now. So specifically, so I had to look it up a little bit. February 13th is when I will get access to a new dungeon. Which will probably be one or two episodes. You know, let's try and max out strength. Yo. Go to practice! This would actually be funnier if I was doing soccer because we'd play be playing soccer in the snow, but whatever. Yes, come here, hi, Jim! You attend basketball practice, diligence, whatever, don't care. What was Ku thing? He's adopted and now he's having 
some weird existential crisis about him not needing to be the successor of a super rich family because he has a younger sibling or whatever. Ku wanted to be by the river, so he stopped by on the way home. <laughs> Man, this place brings back a lot of memories. First time I came here was also my first time in town. Right after the Ichiko family took me in. The sky was totally clear except for the setting sun, and the light hitting the water made it shine. God, I'm so deep. It was beautiful. It helped me decide something. I thought, from now on, I am an Ichigo. I convinced myself that the old me was dead. At least that's what I thought. I forgot the vo I forgot the voice I had. But you were just a kid then, right? <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? A little kid thinking something so deep and profound. But I guess even kids have stuff on their minds sometimes. Especially when they're as deep and profound as I am. Funny thing is, I never really became an Ichigo. Never signed the papers. I looked, sounded, and acted like one, but it was just a mask I wore. And now that I don't have to wear that mask anymore, that persona, some might say, I guess it's time to step off the stage. Don't jump to conclusions, bitch. Well, I haven't reached any conclusions yet. Besides, I'd never just wander off without telling you guys. Ku smiles gently. <laughs> it just makes me feel kinda empty. Knowing that my real parents are dead. It's like... I have no roots. We should go visit their graves after practice sometime. I wouldn't even know where to find them. Uh, I've got that letter, but whoever wrote it didn't sign it. They didn't mention my parents' names, either. Whoever handed you to the orphanage wrote that letter, right? Wouldn't that mean they've been holding on to it for like... 10 years? It's pretty rough asking someone to remember what happened 10 years ago. Not really. I mean, maybe it seems that way because you're like 16. Trust me, when you get older, it's a lot easier. 10 years ago. You're still carrying that thing? Yeah, well, I can't let anyone at the house see it, so... Huh? The name on the front, Kusama, is smeared. Like someone rubbed their hand against it. Maybe they just wrote it in a hurry. Plus, the corner of the envelope is sharp enough to give you a paper cut. What do you think? It was written recently. You think so too? Ku's not, seriously. Hey man, I am dating a detective. And my uncle is also another detective. I'm pretty smart. What does this mean? I think the head of the orphanage must have written it. When I visited, she could probably tell I was depressed. Hey, hey cheer up, man. Even if it is a fake, uh, it's, it sounds bad to call it fake, but she didn't do it to pull a fast one on you. No, you've got it all wrong. I'm happy. I'm glad there are such nice people out there in the world. Makes it seem a little less dark. Maybe the letter is true, or maybe it's just a nice lie, but all the same. Someone was there to give birth to me. Someone was there to raise me. And someone is there to watch over me like this. I thought I had no roots. No ties to anybody. But that's not true. <laughs> it took you long enough to get the picture, stupid. <laughs> You're such a dummy. Stupid. I know you are, but what am I? Oh! Oh, snap! I'm the one who told you that you always have us. <laughs> Stupid. Well, I'm rubber and you're glue. Nin -nin 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 -nin. Ku's eyes are red, but he's laughing. It seems you were able to support Ku when he needed you most. You're filled with determination. The fellow athlete social link, blah blah blah. <laughs> Man, you've got a real ugly mug, you know that? Wanna well, go for a swim ugly? Hope you like the old times. It's literally snowing outside. <laughs> yeah, come think of it. We used to play around here, didn't we? All right. How about want to go for a dip? No. What? I <laughs> like you have a choice. It, this is attempted murder right now. Oh my god, you guys are crazy! It's freaking cold! 
No shit, it's January! Who goes swimming in January? Um... I could be a... I, I don't want a tutor. I hate that kid so much. Like, I really hate the tutoring kid's storyline. 32,000. Let's see how much... Uh, anything good shopping here? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Ooh, auto Mataruga. Uh, I don't have enough. I'll get the I'll get the corn, man. Like I sold all my junk and then bought new equipment. So, oops. It doesn't really matter what I read anymore because I've done everything. Like, everything that these books would give me, I've already done. Which is sort of annoying, but... There is an achievement for reading all the books. And I'm hoping it carries over through New Game Plus. Red books. Yukiko! Um... Things, do you have some time after school today? There's something I'd like your opinion on, so anyway, I just hope you're free. Okay. That's weird. It's like, these are all people I maxed out my social links. So that's odd. Good. Uh, I'm sorry, that was odd. I was trying to there for a second. In any case, if we have to school, let's come, sure. So obviously I'll hang out with Naoto first. Because why would I hang out with anyone else? Oh, hi, Yukiko. Now, what's up? What's up? <sighs> oh, phoenix son. If you don't have any plans, perhaps you'd like to spend some time with me. It's nothing serious, but there's something I'd like you to hear. Hell yeah. yeah. I wish to take another look at this town with you while you're still here. Nato seems happy. Samagawe Riverbank. This place is covered in snow too. It's chilly, but I like the winter and its tranquility. Yeah, you don't get a lot of snow here, so you can say you like winter. Things have become so peaceful lately. I finally feel like I've gotten used to it. The people of Inaba are thinking about the events that transpired, and are making an effort to make the town better. True. That sounds great. I've heard that a lot of local government projects are being considered, such as bringing back old festivals. Aww. It would seem that they're trying to revitalize the town commercially, but I think the people yearn for connection. Why not both? Now those smiles gently. But as time passes, everything fades away eventually. Oh, that's dour. Whenever I handle a serious case, I always come across a certain problem. Man can forget about painful memories, and in doing so, wipe away tears and learn to stand up again. But because we forget, we repeat the same mistake that caused those bad memories in the first place. True. Being able to get used to difficulty is a strength. But people make mistakes because they get set in their ways. Okay. But after meeting you, I feel as if I've found an answer to these doubts. Glad I can help, now so. I feel that as long as you can find something precious in your heart, something to protect, you'll be okay. And as long as you have that precious someone, no matter how much you forget, you can strive for a better future. Of course, I have people who are precious to me as well. Like me? That's why I'm thinking about doing whatever I can. For them, too. This isn't just about me. I draw my strength from everyone else. They keep me alive. I've never considered things like that before. And, of course, the ones who taught me to think that way are none other than you and all my other friends. Nice. Thank you. Really. 
No problem, Naoto. Naoto smiles cheerfully. Huh. Gasp? Oh, oh. Naoto's heart having developed over this difficult year attains greater power. Persona Evolution! It's the same thing but with a different color scheme! Yamato Takara is transfigured into Yamato Sumagaragi! Shield of Justice? Shields the party from- HOLY SHIT, DUDE! That looks pretty boss. Um, okay. Hmm. So. I'm going to replace either Tetracarn or Macrocarn. That's the decision. Tetracarn has the advantage of... I mean, they both have their own advantage. I feel like Macrocarn... So, because Shield of Justice only blocks damage. It doesn't re reflect it. Like these do. So, Macrocarn being able to reflect magic spells is more useful because... It's far more common for opponents to use AoE spells and they are to use AoE physical attacks. So I'll get rid of Tetracarn. And also, looking at my new abilities, immunity to fire and I repel light and dark magic. Damn! It's pretty damn good. There's a new power. Budding in my heart? I wonder if this means that I'm still capable of change. Of course you are, Naoto. I'm going to keep learning from here on. And as long as I do, I can always change. That's right! That doesn't just apply to me. I'm sure the same can be said about you, too. Yeah, aww. Love is... frightening. It often brings out a part of me that... I wasn't aware of. But no matter how I may be, you will accept me as long as I'm not deceiving myself. Of course, now, so I love you, girl. And in turn, I want to stay true to myself so that you will continue to love me. Dude, I'll always love you, Naoto. Until New Game Plus. Oh, I'm sorry. You just surprised me. In which I need to flirt with other people instead. Um... <laughs> I'm the one who brought it up, but now I suddenly feel embarrassed. I... Mm. I... love you too. Yay! Forever. You can sense Naoto's unconditional love. You spend a long time with Naoto discussing all manner of things till it gets dark out. And then you bring her home. Yes? No? Probably no. Oh yeah, I got my corn. Okay, I'm going to stop the episode there. And next time we'll deal with Yuki... Well, we'll deal with more social links. and probably Yuki kill and Teddy at some point. So thank you guys so much for stopping by watching the video. If you like the video, do the thing that does the thing lets me know about the thing. And until next time, bye bye